A common problem in immunofluorescence microscopy is the presence of endogenous background fluorescence that can interfere with your signal. In many cases, this autofluorescence can make your results uninterpretable. In this protocol, we will demonstrate how to remove autofluorescence from human brain tissue samples using photobleaching with a commercial LED desk lamp. The main advantages of this method are the significant cost savings over current techniques without sacrificing effectiveness and that no exogenous compounds are introduced into the sample. Before you begin, prepare stock solutions of 1 times trisbufford saline TBS, and 10% sodium azide. For every three standard size microscope slides that you would like to process, you will need a single 100 mm by 100 mm square petri dish as a slide chamber. For each slide chamber, prepare 50 milliliters of 0.05% azide in TBS by adding 0.25 milliliters of 10% sodium azide to 50 milliliters of 1 times TBS. Create a scaffold to elevate your slide chamber such that a lamp head can fit underneath. For a 100 millimeter square petri dish, a plastic food container of similar size can be cut to shape. Anything that can securely elevate the slide chamber without impeding the light from reaching the samples can be used. Acquire a white phosphor LED desk lamp and remove any diffusers or opaque plastic that covered the light source.